Hi, this is Shelly Hitz from trainingauthors.com and today I'm going to show you our 12-step process of how to host a live webinar for free using Google Plus Hangouts. Now we recently did this and so I'm going to show you the process that we took. Google Plus is always changing so you know things may change a little bit from this video but we wanted to, to show you what we've learned because there were a few little steps that were a little bit tricky. So first of all, you'll decide how you'll host the event. You can create an event through Google+. I like this option because through Google+, you can have people creating buzz, they can share it on Google+, it gets on their Google Calendar. You can set up a blog post where you have it playing live. Um, and that, you know, if you want to drive traffic to your website or your blog, that would be probably the best option for you. You can embed it into that blog post. One thing to note is as of the recording today, the Q&A does not seem to come up or to be visible um, through the Hangouts when you're using a blog post. So you'd probably need to use the comments that you have on your blog to, um, you know, to to get questions and answers if you're doing that um, on your blog post. You can also embed it in your blog post and publish it afterwards for a replay link. And then you can also send people directly to the YouTube video link and just you know send them there. Like I said, I prefer a Google Plus event as of right now just because it seems an easy way to build some buzz and to get some social sharing going on. We recently hosted a webinar with Devorah Lansky and we created this event for the webinar and you can see here is the replay and you can click on this and it brings it up um, you can watch it there are the um, questions over here on the sides that you can see what people had to say the details are here and then you know people can post comments and all of that sort of thing so you know this is a great way to do it so let me show you how you set up an event one of the first things you need to do is you need to make sure that the YouTube account you want the video to be posted on decide what account it's connected with. Our training authors YouTube account is connected with our page and not our profile and so in order for the video to automatically be posted and recorded on that YouTube channel we had to create it through our page. You can um, change you know who you're um, posting as at the top right there and once you go there to the home page, just click on events. Now you can plan a hangout. Um, this is brand new. Um, this is something new that Google has done. But from what I could tell, I tried that. And from what I could tell right now, I could not see an embed code or link for that. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do it the way we have done it in the past. Um, you know, you can change your theme up here. And um, you can upload your own if you want to upload your own video or um, if you want to upload your own picture up there you want to title your event I'm just gonna test one of the things I do want you to know is event options if you go under advanced and show more options right here is where you can um, put in the YouTube URL eventually for your hangout on air so that's just something to take note of and I'm going to set this up as an event. So here's my event and you know again you can send this link you'll have an, a link then in your search bar that you can send to people you can share the event um, onto your Google Plus profile um, other people can OnePlus it and share it people can say if they're going or not um, it says it's a private event because um, right now I, I have not posted it publicly. So once you have the event set up, then what you, you'll need to do is start building buzz for your event and get people to join your event and let them know about it. So then what you'll do is you'll go to the Hangouts on Air and start a Hangout on Air. And so right now, I'm just going to say testing again. You can turn your camera off if you want it just to be audio with slides. I do like the personal effect that the video camera has because then you can really connect with people. So what you can do is you can invite people. So this is where you want to invite your presenters. Again, I'm going to invite myself and um, you can invite up to nine other presenters, video presenters. So step number two is invite any other presenters. Make sure they know the technological stuff that 
you're doing, um, that they have the proper audio and video, if you're going to have a webcam, that they have that kind of stuff available. Step number three, start a hangout on air. And so you want to embed it into the event page or the blog post. And so let me show you how that works. Click on this embed link and you're going to get um, the URL. Here's the URL and that it's if you just want to start a hangout on air and send them to the YouTube um, link, you can do that. And so this is what it will look like. They will be able to access it through YouTube. And you can see, please stand by starting soon. And here they can, if you want to comment and that sort of thing, you can do that. So you can just send them straight to that link. Then to embed it on your blog post, here's where you want to get that code. And that's where you'll go in your blog post you'll go to the HTML section if you're on WordPress and um, copy and paste that into your blog post. So let's go ahead and take this link again and go back to our event and what you're going to do to embed this into the event is just to edit the event and go to the advanced show more options and you're going to put the YouTube URL and save and there is where you're going to have that video. So once you're live and broadcasting, they're going to see that. I have not started the broadcast yet. That's that big red button. And so they're not going to see anything yet. So that is step number three. You're, Im you're embedding it on the event page. Step number four is I really like having it as professional as possible. So turning on the lower third app. So let's go back over here. Let's go ahead and do the lower third app. You're going to find that through the Hangout Toolbox. And so you have to just accept the terms of service for that. So with the lower third app, once you enable the Hangout Toolbox, you'll have all these different options. What you want to do is go to the lower third. And here is where you can put your um, title, you can put your name, and then for a tagline, you can put your website, you can put best selling author, you can put whatever title you have there, and then you can choose a logo. So I just chose a logo, and you can see it's backwards. So there's a little thing there, and it just clicks it mirror local video. So then that's how you do that, and you can see it looks much more professional, and you can do different colors, you know, whatever color. So then you can save that and then that's something that you can load up whenever you're doing your presentations in the future. I ended up liking having just my picture there better just because of the circle and the way that our logo looked. And then um, the step number six is to check your audio and your video and you do that up here in the corner. You can turn the audio off and the camera on and off here and you can go to your settings and you can check which one you want to use. So you just want to check your settings, make sure everything is set up correctly. And that is step number six. Number seven is you want to decide how you're going to ask questions. If you want to use the Q&A app, you have to start that ahead of time. And um, you'll see it on the right side here. Um, you can only turn this feature on and off before the broadcast. So if you do not want to use it, go ahead and turn it off. If you do want to use it, go ahead and turn it on, and that way it's available. Um, just one little note, we did notice that with the embedded blog post video, it did not seem to bring up the questions, um, the ability to type in questions. And so that seemed to only be available if you did it as an event or if you um, send them directly to that, um, to the link, the YouTube link, which you know is where you found it right here with the embed code. So after you've tested your video and audio and decided if you want a question, then you're going to start broadcasting. And the way that you start broadcasting is just to click the red Start Broadcasting link. And you'll just click OK. And it is going to start broadcasting. And once you're broadcasting, if you go over to the event page, you'll see that the video is now live and people can click on it and then they can get access to the live video feed and you can see down here it says live um, it shows my lower third and it shows my video and what I'm doing and <laughs> all of that so um, that's where and the, 
that you can also then embed this code on your blog post and the same thing would, would happen. They would see that. Now one little tip is if you have other people on the call with you and you want to hide their video if you're doing just slides and you don't want the, them to keep coming in and out of your slides with their video every time they talk, you just, when they join the call, click on cameraman and then um, click on their little video link at the bottom and that will mute them. That's one way that you can um, just do the slides. You want to then, you know, on the Q&A, you want to kind of be watching, you know, this right hand side for questions that are going to pop up if people have questions. So you can moderate the questions here to the right. You can also use the screen share feature, which you can decide which screen that you will share. You know, you can just go full screen mode and it will show your full screen. And if you want to do it that way, you can do the, um, the slides that way. That's if you want to show somebody what's going on on your screen. All right, so then once you're done, you want to end the broadcast. And what you can do is you can edit. So you can either edit it in your YouTube editor. So what you can do is then you can come back to this video link to where your Hangout was recorded. So if you click on the info and settings, then you can change this, you know, the description, any tags, and you can change this now to unlisted or private. So that way the replay is not public. You know, if you want to change it so that, you know, people cannot see that. You know, you can upload a custom thumbnail for your video and um, again, you know, you can do enhancements, you can add audio and use the regular like YouTube editor that you have available to you. So just to kind of go back over um, the steps, you decide how you will host the event, invite any other presenters, when it's time to start the hangout, cl hangout click start a hangout on air and embed it on the event page or the blog post, and make sure that Google Plus profile or page is associated with your main YouTube channel. You want to turn on the lower third app, that just helps it really look professional. You want to upload slides to the SlideShare account that is connected you know, to your Google account if you want to use that. You can also just use the screen share mode and use your PowerPoint on your computer. Test your video and audio settings is step number six. Step number seven is um, decide how the participants can ask questions. Step number eight, start broadcasting at the correct time. Step number nine, you can manage what the attendees see on their screen through your panel, Google Plus Hangouts panel. You want to watch the right side of the screen for questions during your webinar, and then you want to edit the webinar, complete any editing, and then finally share the replay link. So I, I hope that this has been helpful for you, that you are now feel like you're able to um, start using Google Plus for a Hangout. I, I highly encourage you to do a test and you know test out the settings first before you do a live event and try it you know check it out and um, see how it will work for you